Live from the Outpost Studios in Columbus, Ohio, you're listening to All Natural Being with Brian Brody. Brought to you by IPMNation.com. Get ready for the gong heard round the world. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Natural Being with Brian Brody is designed to shake your sense of self to the core. It's full contact psychology with an empowering twist, a philosophical loofah for your soul. For those of you not ready or comfortable releasing your inner superhuman, listener discretion is advised. Here's your host, Brian Brody. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Have Lee come over into the studio. Let's do this live. It'll be great. No, you won't be messing around right up until it's time to go. Who, why would you even think of something like that? Oh, I don't know, because it could really happen. I think that's it. Well, let me just do this then, since now I guess we are going out live. <laughs> oh, help me. Went on a live is off. Use the go button. Okay, will do. So if I go like this, then it's going to remind me to go over here. Ay, ay, ay. Welcome, and thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us. When I say us, I really mean us tonight because my good friend Lee Rowley is here, which kind of adds a little bit to what it is that we're doing when we go, okay, great, we need to... You know, do this, do that. But in any event, thank you so very much for the 382nd episode of the number one rated show here on IPMNation.com. You're into all a natural being and the gong heard round of the world. Broadcast as it happens. Thanks to our good friends at Telestream's Wirecast. There's very little that I do to get involved, but our good friends at the Telestream's Wirecast allow us to broadcast it right here on IPMNation.com and also multicast live over on Facebook, AllNaturalBeing.com, the Brian Brody app. This is the Android version of that app while we work out all the Apple stuff. But however you come to hang with us, we're always pumped to have you live from the transitional radio uplink. Here in, as I say it all the time, a suburb of beautiful Columbus, Ohio. And as always, we do our little soiree, our little rebroadcast on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, YouTube, you know, all the usual suspects. But however it is, however it plays out that you come to be with us, greetings wherever you are. Here in the Garden of the Mortals, the labyrinth of life itself, your shot at running the table, at leveling out wherever you see fit. And remember, you don't need permission from anyone. It's in your blood. Yeah, right? Now, having said that, we just got to figure out how to get your mind to remember that it's inborn, that it's innate in you. That's why we're here to be your amnesia buster, to be your friendly blue force, always putting your heart's highest priority, top of the list. And I'm just laughing to myself thinking, with Lee here, it's like, it's a wonder that I'm even able to get this much of it up and going. What we're talking about is reinstalling and reinstating the true wit and wisdom. I dare say the true wallop of your inner whisper. But it's our job to reboot your robust, to find your ferocious, right? Commencing your counterpunch all in time to outbrutal the brutal that is the cut and shuffle that fate can deal you on a daily basis. And to once and for all bring your own bold, Right? How do you see this as left of bang? I love that question. Pre-tipping point, if you'll permit me. Simply because there's a storm coming. There's one brewing. I know you can feel it. 
And for those of you listening, thinking that that phrase is, well, a little dog whistle, guess what? It is a dog whistle for, well, there's a storm coming, right? And only those that decide to channel their all-natural being will be the ones that are best prepared to face the future. But before we hit it this evening, hello to my friends here in the United States and Canada, Mexico... Where else are we talking about? Oh, the UK, my good friends in Ecuador, China, the Philippines, Brazil, India, Australia, Germany, Italy, France, Nigeria, Turkey, Japan, Singapore, Thailand, Belgium, Sweden, Israel, South Africa, Egypt, Puerto Rico, Kenya, the Netherlands, Iran, Colombia, Greece, Ireland, Argentina, Peru, Austria. Welcome, Austria. Poland. To those joining us from all over the globe, it truly is great to have you with us, and I'm fired up to be driving your bandwagon, to be your virtual hitchhiker if you're out and about on the go. And as I say every evening, I love riding shotgun because I love hanging out with you. So what are we waiting for? Here's your opportunity once and for all to mortal up. It's time to love the way you think. What could be wrong with loving the way you think? It's time to be your all-natural being. So what do you say? Let's go kick in some doors. And before I enter, I guess I've already kind of introduced our special guest for this evening. But before I throw it over to Lee, let me jump in the thread very quickly, if I can do it here. I, I'm, I'm laughing to myself because I said, oh, yeah, well, well, I was like, how am I hearing my own voice? And then I realized <laughs> Lee's in the studio, as so I'm probably hearing my voice through his phone. So let me apologize for that in the beginning. And we go over here, do this, six, carry the seven. All right, so now we're in over live. Let me say good evening. Oh, hi, Lee. Now that Lee's in the thread as well. Candace, thank you for joining us. Matt is watching. Thank you so very much for joining us here at All Natural Being. What I wanted to talk about tonight is this whole concept, and we're going to do a uh, 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 Mr. Noel is taking the bottom of the hour off. So what we'll do this evening will be a little different than we normally do. What we'll be doing is that we'll be doing all natural being from eight, you know, right about now till just a, about eight thirty, and then we're going to do a very special version of copy that speaks. We'll be doing that at the bottom of the hour from eight thirty to nine, and then Lee and I will kind of kick around my senses, we're going to practice, right, riding like there ain't no clown, we're going to practice switching over to Lee's page when we get ready for, you know, just like we normally do it here at Transitional Radio when we switch over to, uh, well, we normally switch over to Thinking Reinvisioned. we'll be doing that, so we'll see uh, how that is that we can pull that off. All right, again, Candace, thank you for joining us. Matt, thank you so very much for hanging out with us here at All Natural Being. And, you know, I asked Lee to come into the studio tonight because we do have a little bit of an announcement. But it will come after I ask you this question. Do you ever get to the point where you think it's just time you should corner yourself? You ever get to the point where you go, you know what? For whatever's going on in life, it's time that I stop acting like I have cottage cheese for brains. Kathy, good evening. Thank you for joining us here at All Natural Being. It's time to stop acting like I have cottage cheese for brains and literally corner myself and go, all right, well, you know, you hear all the time, oh, well, a caged animal. You don't want to corner, uh, you know, you don't want to corner an animal. What will happen then? Well, let me ask you, what if you cornered yourself? What if you got to the point? Hello, Kathy, to you as well. What if you got to the point? And I think this is as good a time as any. Wait till you see this. Ooh, graphic and all. That's right, from Sales Copy Academy, our good friend Lee Rowley. Lee, we're talking tonight about what would be wrong if you got to the point where you go, yeah, I'm done accepting the vapid. I'm done accepting the boring in my everyday. And I have decided to corner myself. I'm going to accept full responsibility. It's not Trump's fault. It's not Hillary's fault. It's not the dog catcher's fault. It's not the, it's no one's fault. Right, Our sense of skin, the thickness of our sense of skin is on us. And as my shirt says this evening, go be you. Lee, what say you? It can't be anybody else. It really doesn't matter. Fault it is. The point is that it today is the day that you decide that you're going to do something different. That you're going to stop letting other people tell you what to do and how to think. I like that. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. 
I like that. And I think that, it, especially for me, and which is why I was so excited to have you here this evening, and I know, Lee, you can't see the monitor, but you got a nice little Lee Rowley name tag popping up there in the bottom. Look at that. Just top-notch production here at All Natural Being Studios. Oh, now I'm supposed to clear that layer so that they don't think. And then I go like this, and I go, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, there you go. But you're absolutely right. We don't have to let it be anyone else, right, that's responsible for our state of mind. We don't have to let it be anyone else that's responsible for our happiness, or I should say our lack of happiness. You get to a point where I've gotten to now, and I say, it's time to corner yourself. Good evening. Let me say hello to Mary. Mary, thank you for joining us here at All Natural Being. We're talking about you reach that stage where it's time to just corner yourself and time to say, I've got to channel my all natural being and I'm going to fight back. I'm going to do what I have to, to put my heart's highest priority top of my list. I'm not going to wait for permission. I'm not going to wait for the committee vote. I'm not going to wait for all these other things. I'm going to do what I can right now to corner myself and then make it as such that I'll be the only one responsible for my ultimate happiness. And Lee, that's what I thought we would talk about tonight. And as you know, I call it a therapy. <laughs> so thank you for being here. Absolutely. But in, in terms of therapy, is like, what is it going to finally take? And you know, I, I, I've, I've, I've been really forced to think a good bit about it, Lee, especially with Friday coming up as quickly uh, as it is. And what's today? Like Tuesday? Is today Tuesday or Monday? I hope not. Is it Monday? It it should, I hope it's still mm -hmm. Monday. Is it still Monday? Okay, it yeah. could be Monday. Don't let, hey, look, don't let the guy with amnesia uh, <laughs> operate heavy machinery or work the calendar, apparently. Is it still Monday? Okay, so it's Monday. So coming up here in a few days, one of the things that I've been, uh, that I've had to most kind of deal with is this whole sense of, all right, pretty soon they're going to pull this shunt out of me. And what will happen is that I have a brand new shot at life without all the extra plumbing, right? I've, when I tell people, go be you, and I mean that. Good evening, David. Thank you for joining us here at All Natural Being. When I say to people, go be you, I've got a chance Friday after I get out, Saturday after I get out, whatever day it is, to go, all right. So I've been, I've, I've, I've been riddled with this for three, four years now, however, unless you could count backwards and however long I was carrying the tumor around. But I've been riddled with it, so I have a real opportunity. I have a real chance, like maybe everyone at New Year's, New Year's resolutions, but I have a real chance, Lee, to say, no, nope, I'm going to corner myself right now. I'm not going to accept cottage cheese cognition anymore, right? I'm not going to accept balsa wood spine, and I'm going to do what I have to do to put my heart's highest priority top of my list. And that's why I'm so excited to have you here this evening because we're going to be talking about it. But um, as you know, one of those things, it's still my belief that I have a face for radio. One of those things is that I really want to build this sense. And I think what's, what's made me hold back a little bit, Lee, is when people say, oh, you're going to be a coach, or are you going to be this, or are you going to train people to do this or that. I've got nothing to teach anyone. And I think when I come out this weekend, when I come out of the hospital, when I come out of my fourth brain surgery uh, in three years, if people are willing to come along for the ride and learn what I'm going to learn as I rebuild after this fourth surgery, then then I, I suspect maybe I have something to offer that uh, it, it's, it's about the things that I will learn, not about the things that I know, because ultimately I have nothing to teach. But what I will do is mortal up. As you know, Lee, I believe that miracles begin when you mortal up. When you go back to your all-natural being, that's when sparks start to fly, and that's what I'll be doing uh, as, soon as, I, as soon as they revive me, <laughs> as soon as I come back around, right? I have my little baggie. John, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Lee, let me show everybody the baggie here quickly. I've got the um, baggie that I'll be using. You remember I told the doctors and they said, oh, just bring a baggie in. So here's the baggie. Right. Put my name right on there. So I'll be able to bring like the whole shunt and the, the, ca the cable, the hose that goes down, whatever they call it. Everything that goes down into my stomach, the other part that goes down into my brain. So there's the baggie, as I said. Right. I'll put my name on it. 
Mm-hmm. Hello, everybody. And to you as well, John. So, Lee, what is your thought about this? Because here's what I said when I, t- when I talked about wanting it to be – I wanted to put the – I wanted to, to, for people to understand that it was – it wasn't about me having anything to teach – but that I was going to be learning how to, right? I was going to be starting over with training wheels because here's a real chance in my life to go, all right, no more. I'm going to corner myself. I'm going to figure out what it takes to be happy. And of course, I wanted to get your sense of it. And uh, we'll talk about it a little bit later in Copy That Speaks, but a, a little bit of a sense of how we would do just that. What say you? Well, you know, I think that the the authentic nature of it carries a lot of weight because you know, we're we're in a, an era where everybody's a freaking expert you know right. uh, and and we're all you know everybody's clamoring to be the next expert in this niche and that niche everybody wants to be the one that the, the people listen to and and 99.9 percent of the time they do it by trying to do it by saying you know look how much I know look mm-hmm. how much I've accomplished uh, you know look how far above you I am mm. and you know I've, I talk about a movement all the time and I really honestly believe that what we are creating here is a true movement because you know there, there's people like you and I and we're finding lots of other weirdos uh, around the country <laughs> and uh, around the planet who are saying you know what we're tired of this crap Right. We're tired of everybody BSing us and, and trying to pretend like they're, they're, they're so, so far above us. We want to follow people who are real, mm-hmm. who are not afraid to, to show the good and the bad, the challenges and the triumphs. And, you know, they'll follow these people to the moon. I mean, as long as you're the real deal. And, you know, Brian... I honestly, you know, 110% think that's what you are. I mean, you're obviously the real deal. And, and I think that this is why it's going to be such a, a major thing for you and for the people around you. Because really, you're teaching, you know, getting back to your core. I mean, you know, you say you don't have anything to teach, but, you know, really getting back to yourself is something that leaders have been trying to teach for thousands of years. I mean, you know, the Buddha going back, you know, sure. uh, you know 300 years. years. I mean, this is same thing. Jesus, Muhammad, ever you know, it's, it's all the same thing. Trying to to fill this emptiness that maybe really isn't even there, except we've cre- we fabricated it, we've created it on our own. Or you know what? Let me say hello quickly before uh, before I jump on that. But hello to Alice. She says, "Hey everyone, John. Thank you. Uh, nice to see you as well." And I think Lee, what for me it's that that we talked about last night about blocking the breach, right? Right, and playing to your strengths. Well, for some of us, the breach has been there for so long. I mean, I talk all the time about leaking spinal fluid. Mm-hmm. You know what it was like to finally think I was on my way home, and then they go, "What's that tripping on the top of your shoes?" I go, what are you talking about, right? I'm in a hospital. Who knows what kind of flu you people have given me, right? I've been here for a month. Who knows, right? But I think our sense of self, our sense of who we are leaks out of us at times when we don't block the breach, just like the spinal fluid leaked out of me. So a part of the announcement that I wanted to make tonight is that very, very shortly, you know, we've talked before about Antius Universal, um, and and one of Antius Universal's first clients was Transitional Radio, and we wanted to build that, and we're going to continue to work on that. That. But I think what I'm going to do coming out of this and, and what I wanted uh, to talk to you about this evening, I think what I'm going to do coming out of this is that we're going to go to a full three-hour radio broadcast show. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my line in the sand and I'm going to make it work. From now on, I'm saying goodbye to my clients other than a, a very select small handful uh, of, of – of, they're not even clients. They're just dear friends that, that uh, I do work for. I'm going to say goodbye to what I've done heretofore. I'm going to say goodbye to the television commercials. I'm going to say goodbye to all the different things that I've done, and I'm going to make a go at a full-time – thank you, John, very much. I'm going to make a go at a full-time radio show. And we're probably going to do it along this whole concept, Lee, right. of mortal up is when the miracles begin, right? It's, it's, 
it, it's, it's, as you say, going back to that very beginning of who you really are so that it's not about me, Lee. It's not about me. It's about the person. It's a, and if someone says, oh, I'd like to tune in just to learn what it is that Brian's learning that day, mm-hmm. I'm going to leave no stone unturned. I'm going to do, I'm going to fall back on, you know, the old law enforcement detective in me, and I'm going to make it work so that every day I'm going to get up there, I'm going to kick in doors, I'm going to run down leads and figure out exactly what it is that keeps individuals, keeps the people that tune in to our show, keeps them in check, keeps them chop blocking themselves, keeps them bullying themselves. Right. And so that's what I was interested to run past you this evening and see what you think um, in terms of, and it may be drive time. We may be leaving uh, this time slot Okay. So that more and more people driving to and from work, I don't imagine it'll be early in the morning. My sense is we're going to settle, and of course, I'll be talking to Henry and to Wayne and to Matt Connerton to get an idea of some of the scheduling over at IPM Nation. But I think what we're going to do, good evening, Wayne. Thank you for joining us. I think what we're going to do is a drive time show, maybe five to eight, something in those time frames. Um, but I wanted to be clear with people and say it's not. I have nothing to teach. But if you're interested in coming along for the journey on how I'm, uh, how I'm going to rebound from this, and all the different things, all the different books, all the different classes, it's kind of like Wayne. Let me be the crash test uh, dummy, is what I was saying to Wayne. Um, but but you know what I mean, Lee. Let right. me be the one that goes through. Does all the learning, does all the reading. You don't have time to read all these mastermind experts, but that's what I was thinking. What say you? Absolutely. You know, I, th- I think the answers are already there, and I think that you're in the process of extracting those answers, your answers, because, you know, you know as well as I do, your answers aren't anybody else's, you know? I mean, I, really, how can, you, how can you teach a formula for for living or for happiness or for fulfillment or for joy or for success when that means something so completely different to absolutely everyone on the planet. And I think that's the point, Lee. I think that when you look at the sense of DNA, I said last night that you're a unique combination of, uh, you know, you're a unique combination of DNA, blood, and spit I don't see how there can be a formula, which is why I'm so excited. Wayne is in the thread saying, hello, all, just sitting here quietly, <laughs> quietly, but with the eyes that speak volumes. You know what I mean? Lee's like, whoa, those are some eyes. Um, but I wanted it to be so unique that anyone could go, my God, they just can't beat that kid down. Right. No matter what the ailment, the cancer, the brain tumor, the, the any of the things the, the, that I've been subject to in growing up. And, and that's going all the way back to the original, there's just all kinds of stuff in my childhood that we won't, we won't dredge up now. But I'm hoping that in terms of doing this three-hour drive time show, people can go, yeah, he keeps throwing himself into the mix. He keeps throwing himself into the breach mm-hmm. in an attempt to figure out exactly what it's going to be you know, exactly what it will take for me to go, nah, you know what? I think I can learn a little bit from that. I think I can, I, I think I can make that work. And that's what I'm interested in. And, uh, and I appreciate you coming and hanging with me tonight because we're going to start talking about, um, John says here, uh, uh, Lee, I know you can't see the feed, but John says the formula is you. Nice. Is that a great? That is nice, isn't it? So, what do you think, Lee? Uh, applause! Uh, absolutely, applause Golf for John. and everything. Yeah, absolutely. Right. No, this I think this is awesome. I mean, and and really, if if all it does is teach one person, uh, all if it does is let me let me rephrase. That. I don't want to use the word teach. Uh, all if it, if it just gives one person the confidence sure. to say, you know what, I'm going to step out. I'm going to step my toe outside of my comfort zone. You know, I mean, sure. because not everybody's like you and I. Like I say, you know, we run our, we we roll our comfort zones up and run them through wood chippers. You know, I mean, it's just <laughs> that, that's just how we are. But uh, you know, I've, I've crazily enough, I've had so many people tell me, God, you know, I wish I could just be you and say whatever I want. I'm like, you, first of all, you don't want to do that. There's right. there there's there's so much that goes with that <laughs> that you don't even understand. But that's true for all of us, you know, and that's why. Not everybody is able to do that, you know, but if, if you can help them at least think about taking a step, sure. at least consider the possibilities, at least have a glimmer, a shred of hope, then maybe there's a tomorrow for them where there wouldn't have otherwise been. Brian, this is monumental. 
And, and well, really thank is. you. I well, thank you for saying that. And it, I would I would say to you that a part of it, and uh, and for me at least, a part of it for the eighty one to win was that I really wanted to find a way for people to go, he knows nothing about radio, just listen to him, right? And even now, as I'm trying to work some of the graphics and this and that and having someone else here, I wanted people to look at it and go, well, you know what? He, <laughs> when he says you can't spell Brian without the I, an idiot, he knows whereof he speaks, but still, he's going to throw himself into the breach. He's going to pull it off. He's going to make it work. And, and that's why I said, I think for the last couple of years, I've struggled. People say, well, what have you learned from this? What can you teach other people? I got nothing to teach anyone. Anyone. All I know is what I've taught myself is that I'm going to bounce back. I refuse to lose. Whatever comes of Friday comes of Friday, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to give up. I'm going to continue to try to figure out in the particular moment, whatever moment I'm in, in all of time, what is that all-natural being, and how can I best make it work, right? So how can I best make it so that other people can go – yeah, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. He's because ultimately, Lee, I say all the time, it's not about right. As you know, I don't believe in motivation. I believe it's you know I, that's why I call it the motivational cartel or shelf help or any of these other things. <laughs> if you need to be motivated, Lee, you're on the wrong path. Mm -hmm. You're you're kicking in the wrong door because if you're doing it the right way, the last thing you need is to be motivated. Motivated is to. I don't know, maybe get you out of bed in the morning. But other than that, there's not a whole lot that motivation works for. So I'm really glad that you're here this evening. And uh, John says formula 4-O-U or 40-U. Yeah, for me, it would be a good bit more than 40. But I, I, I see what he's saying. So, Lee, what are you thinking about that? And we're getting ready to go to the bottom of the hour. So you want to keep it here or you, you want to try to switch it over? We'll play a little bit of music and then we'll go. Uh, we'll see if we can get it over to... Uh, uh, the copy that speaks page because we have a new we have a new thing to introduce tonight and everything else. So why don't we do that? You're the uh, man with the shiny buttons. You you do it. Well, what's the give it to me and I'll see if Wayne will be nice enough to put it up in the thread for us. What's uh what's the Facebook page? Uh, it's uh, facebook.com slash the Lee Rowley. Oh, the Lee Rowley. Facebook.com yeah. yeah, slash. Apparently, there's some politician in in like some bullcrap town in <laughs> in England who has my name and really? he just he, he's a constant source of irritation because he just won't change it. Yeah, but he doesn't have a purple corduroy. Sport no, coat. he does not. That's right. Have a and a matching. Jacket. That's for darn sure. What are the little pocket squares? Is there another name that Matt uh, Pocket Square or is it Pocket Square? Is that the name? I'm calling it a park pocket square. Pocket I, you square, know, I, yeah. I, I think in Kentucky they call them handkerchiefs. Or hey, I've heard of handkerchiefs. Napkins. That's good. That's good. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. We're going to tease, and then what we'll do is we're going to run to a little bit of a break. We'll keep the radio going. Uh -huh. And if everyone will kind of bear with us for a minute or two, what we're going to do is we're going to switch over now to the Lee Rowley, R O W L E Y. We've mm -hmm. got a new, all kinds of new things, but here's what I've asked Lee to do. We're going to go ahead and launch pretty quickly here. Quickly, right? Who knows when you come out of surgery? But over the next few weeks, we're going to be launching a Patreon account and we're going to have what we call invitational programming. So for the people that really want to stick around and really want to hear some of the guests and some of the other things that we're doing as we ramp up for 81 to win, we're going to talk all about that. But thank you, Wayne, very much. Spray the Formula 40U on it. <laughs> thank you, John. <laughs> Wayne, thank you for posting the link. So we're going to go ahead, shut this down just for a second. We're going to stay here on the radio, Lee, if that's cool with you. Yeah, but let's absolutely. see if we can pull this off. So for everyone here on Facebook, we look forward to welcoming you over at facebook.com slash L.H. Roll. So that's a little bit different, it looks like. Well, no, it's, it's the Lee Rowley. L.H. But, Rowley is my, is my personal account. Oh, L.H. Yeah, don't go over there. We don't want to hang out your personal account. Okay, so Wayne in the thread, it's the it's Facebook.com slash the T H E mm -hmm. Lee. I like that. The Lee. Mm-hmm. Rolly. I like that. All right, so we're gonna do this. Bear with us. We're gonna keep it live going on the radio. We're gonna switch over and we will be right back. Thank you so very much for joining us. Here we go. <laughs> 